Hey guys, welcome back. It is a super windy day and forgive my half wet hair because we currently have no electricity. So I figured today is the best time of ever to show you guys my Thanksgiving sensory projects. These are so easy and there's like virtually no setup time. So perfect for last minute sensory ideas. Ah, we just got power back. Power's on. Without further ado, I'm still showing you some Thanksgiving sensory projects. Yeah. Guys, you ready for some sensory yeah. activities? Yeah. Yeah, what holiday's coming up? All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is sink or float. My kids love Blippi, and if your kids are anything like mine, they've seen Blippi too. And they have a whole, he has a whole segment on sink or float. So I figured why not do it Thanksgiving style. So I'm just gonna show you what I put on the plate. Super easy because I had everything in the house and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Here's our Thanksgiving sink or float plate. We have marshmallows, whole cranberries, pecans, corn, and sweet potato. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work this. All right, so now we're gonna make some predictions. Which one should we do first, the marshmallows? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so I need you to tell me, do you think it's going to sink or float? Float. You think float. it'll float? Yeah. You think it'll float. wait? Wait, 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 float. I'm gonna get one. What do you think, float? Yeah. Okay, float. hold on, do not put them in yet. Do not put them in yet. Okay, let's see, go ahead, put them in. Do they sink or float? Yeah. sauce with the turkey. So, do you think these will sink or float? You think they'll, hold on, wait, you think they'll sink? Yeah. You think float? Do you think sink or float? Cammy, is it going to sink or float? Sink. Float. Okay, let's see. They float. before it pops, right? Or corn that we put on the dinner table. So, do we think this is going to sink or float? Sink! Sink? Float? Sink. Okay, let's see. Oh, it sinks! Oh, it sinks! Who said sink? Good job! Okay, now these are pecans. Okay. Float. You think they're gonna float? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let's get everyone to get some in. All right. Ah. They float. Yeah. They float. Okay. Yeah. Next one. What's this? Potato. This is a sweet potato. Yeah. Pick it up. Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? Yeah. Sink. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Yeah. You think it'll float? Yeah. And what do you think? Pick it up. It will float. You think it's going to float? Cammy yeah. thinks it's going to sink. Okay, Tai Tai, you put it in. Yeah, and then. Be I... careful, it's going to splash everywhere, so gently. Let it go. <gasps> did it sink or did it float? <laughs> it sink! Okay, stop. I want you to look. Did it sink or did it float? It did. Oh. Oh. It sort of floated, oh. right? Look, it didn't really sink. It's hard to oh. see, but it's not completely on the bottom, right? Yeah. So it actually kind of floated. It kind of sank and kind of floated. So let's see this. What if we cut it? Now I cut it. Is it going to sink or float? Boy. All right, hold on. Everyone has a piece. Hold on. Sink or float? Boy. All right, let's see. <laughs> Look in the bowl. Observe what sank. It moved. Good. Oh. Popcorn. Very good. What floated? It popcorn. No. What's floating on the top? Pick one of the things. The potato, and that's called a pecan. Pecan. 
So they obviously really like this little segment. You could do it with anything that is meaningful to your family. Like if you had green beans, whatever you guys normally put on your Thanksgiving table or whatever means something for Thanksgiving for you, just do sink or float, see if it works and it's super easy. It would be better if you had like a big fish tank or something like that, that you could fill the water really high. I didn't, so I just used a bowl and guess what? It worked. So use what you got. You don't wanna spend money just to teach your kids something if you don't have to. So the next one that I'm gonna do is a turkey color sorting activity. My kids really struggle with sorting and matching, so I'm really trying to work on that. We actually have two activities today that are going to be color sorting centered. So I'm gonna show you this one. This is probably the most prep work you're gonna to have to do on an activity, but this is a donut and Fruit Loops one. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So we're gonna start with some glazed donuts first. So you're just going to take a donut. You guys know I love these little candy eyes. I use them all the time. I'm using some jelly because that's what I have on hand. Just use it for some glue. So you can use chocolate. You can really use anything that you want to stick on. Chocolate definitely works really well. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take orange for his little gobbler. You're gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna take an orange one for his beak. And Cut it in half, and we're just gonna stick it on here. Hold on. You actually don't even need anything, you just stick it in there, and it will stay. Like that. Now, okay, baby, hold on. Wow, you did excellent. Now we're just going to stick in his feathers. So the boys are going to sort colors onto his feathers. feathers? And that's kind of what we're gonna look at. Right All right, so here's the next project, color sorting turkeys. So I started ties because I want him to put the colors on. So go ahead boys, start putting some Cheetos, but only one color on each stick. I want to put this one. You got it, it's on the stick. Bubble. No, where's the purple stick? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. That's right. So put it on the purple stick. Very good. Very good. So now, Cammy, this is the red stick. That's the orange stick. So let me see you color sort. Ty, you're actually doing fantastic. Doing really, bad. really good. I'm doing bad. Good job. Two. Excellent work, guys. Good color sorting. Oh, what color stick is that, Ty? Orange. Okay, but what color is this? Red. Right, so where is the orange? Very Red. good. Very good. Red. That's orange. So where does it go? Color match. Yeah. Excellent work. Cammy's just doing all sorts of colors over here, and that's fine. I really want the twins to get their color sorting down, though. Is this yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. Good job. Ty, you're doing fantastic. Alex, good job. All right, so now they get to do their favorite part, which is eating their Thanksgiving turkey. So as you can see, we did, oh, watch your hand, Alex. We did pretty good. Alex taking the eyeballs off. We did pretty good on the color sorting. Still working on it. My kids really struggle with this, but you know what? Practice makes perfect. So if there's something that your kids are struggling with constantly, um, definitely hone in on that. So as you'll see, we're doing one more activity of color sorting just to get the idea nailed in. So here is our next project. Do not judge my art. <laughs> so this is all their turkeys. And then Tata, can you show them your stickers? Yeah. Show them your stickers, wait, right here. I just picked up these stickers from, um, I think I got Target or wherever, and it just has all the colors Mom, for the turkeys. Yeah, okay, so I want you to put, go ahead, Cammy. Peel off the sticker and put the colorful stickers. I need you to match the colors for me. So let's see how they do with this one. Cammy, peel off the sticker. That goes on the yellow Excellent. Yeah. Ty, Ty, stickers only go on the leaves. Please. Only on the leaves. Okay. Mom. Oh, Cammy's having trouble 
pull it. Good job. It's not going to stick, but you did excellent. That was blue. Keep going. On pink. On red. But yes, I'm so proud of you. You got it. Pink. Fine. Way? Yep. You got it. Alex, I am so proud of you. Great color sorting. Oh, hold on. Let me lower this. Hold on. Hold on, Kim. Mom, I did it. You did it on the red leaf. The red leaf, honey. <gasps> Good job. Go ahead. Stick it on there. You guys know I'm super exuberant with my kids. I It's just my personality. Woo! Good job! We need a blue! We need a blue! I'm super exuberant with my kids. It's just who I am. That's like just my personality. But it also really does feed my kids confidence. It feeds my kids confidence. So you know what? They love it. I'm their mom, and that's it. You don't have to be as over the top as I am, but your kids will respond to whatever their love language is. So they're over there, and they seem to be flawlessly sorting the colors, which I find kind of interesting because they've really struggled, like with the Cheerios, and we did an apple tree one for the fall sensory project, which if you haven't checked out, I will link above. Um, but they're doing really good. I don't know. The stickers seem to be doing it. And we only did the Cheerio one about half an hour before this one. So really interesting. Just keep reinforcing it and they will get it. Alex, you did so good. Tyler, look at you. So good. Cammy, excellent. Good job, boys. Round of applause. So do these go in our rooms or do they go in our playroom? Where should we hang our turkeys? In our playroom. In the playroom. Ty Ty, you want your turkey in the playroom or in your room? All right, I guess all the turkeys are going in the playroom, my three little turkeys. So this next one is going to be a little bit harder for them. I used the cranberries that I used in Sink or Float, and I got some toothpicks, and they're going to try and build. I don't know how well they're going to do with it, but we're going to see. I'm going to show them how to do it and see if they can. All right, boys. So what you're going to do is we're going to build. Okay. Okay? So you take your toothpick, and you stick it through the cranberry, and then you could put another one through the cranberry and you're gonna build. See? I want So build something. I need it. Build a big tower. Go ahead. No, I put it. Good job. Now keep going, Ty. Be careful, you don't stick yourself. Mommy. Here you go. Now you put another toothpick and another cranberry. Good job. So you want to keep building on that same one that you have. Okay, what do you need? You want to make it stand up? Let's yeah. see. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So now, once we get it to stand up, though, we're going to need another. So how about you get another toothpick yeah. and another Mommy, cranberry? I want more. I I Okay, I'll help you in one second. go. Good job. Now, good job. Mm -hmm. So you're going to connect this one to this. Can you do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But do it this way so we can make it stand because we're going to make like a, um, a support system. That's it. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Put it in. Oh, to do is put one more cute and one more toothpick from here to here. Obviously, this is great for so many different things. And also, if your boys or your boys, if your kids are a little bit older, you can go into Alex. Alex, that is so awesome. I'm making a wake a car. Oh, that's so cool. Let them use their imagination. All right, Alex, what did you build? Almost done. All right, so we're going to move on to the next project. They did excellent on this one. Here is our last project. I just took some paint, and then don't mind, this will be a turkey with fork painting. So all of them have three forks, three colors, three forks, three colors, and I'll show you how this is going to work. Okay. Cammy's just going out around the turkey, baby. It's all right, Alex. It's just drips. I'll try to get some of it up. There you go, making the leaves. Mom, I mean, his feather, Dad? we're making feathers. Oh, Dad, excellent. Dad? Go ahead. 
Stamp. This is fork, stamp, stamp. Don't mind the apples, guys. Wow, you be very, very nice. Uh, Ty, watch where you're going. You went on to the turkey. You want his feathers. This one with a snack break over here. Yeah. Hard work today doing sensory yeah. stuff. Go ahead. Do it all around the turkey. Around the turkey. Good job. Around the turkey. Uh, no. Honey, stamp around the turkey, just not on the turkey. Good boy. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Alex is doing excellent. Yeah. So as you can see, we were doing pretty good, but we have some, and then Cam is just a whole, you know, a whole mess. Guys, I just want to show you how cute, while they're painting, is that sign. I just found it at Hobby Lobby, and I totally love it. I don't even know if there's a sticker on it. Let's see. I think it was $25 after the 40% off. And then how cute is this little guy? It reminds me of the Chick-fil-A slogans, like eat more chicken with the cows. It's so cute. So the boys are finishing up their painting, guys, and I'll show you when it's done. But I really hope you guys love these sensory videos. I love making them because it helps you guys. You guys have told me a million times how much you like them and it helps my kids learn and I love everything about the holidays and seasons and teaching them so I have a ton of fun doing this and so do they. So we are pretty much done. They are ready for lunch. They worked hard today. They did really good. I actually did all these sensory activities today. I usually break it up but it is so windy and cold out today in New York that I figured let's just spend the day doing this and they were just like rolling with it so we just kept going but now I can definitely tell they're tired so we're done don't push your kids because you want it to be fun you don't want it to be crazy and stressful that's the point that's it guys I love you so much I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season we have so much stuff coming up I can't wait for you to see it all and I hope you stick with us. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Press that notification bell so you're always notified when I go on. And that's it. Guys, you wanna say goodbye? Bye. 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 Can we say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Turkey Day. Happy Turkey Day from our family to yours. Bye, guys.